In this lecture, I'd like to examine more closely what field lines are, or lines of forces. Now, we already spoke about these guys briefly when we spoke about electric fields. And we said that any charge, positive or negative, will create electric fields. And this electric field is composed of these field lines, or lines of forces. So if we have a positively charged sphere, or a point charge, this guy will create an electric field that's composed of these lines of forces. And these lines of forces, or field lines, will extend outward and will be perpendicular to the surface of our sphere or our point charge. And we said that if we place another charge, say a positive charge, uh, some distance R2 away, or some distance R away from this charge, that they will feel a force given by Coulomb's law. So the force that each guy feels will be given by K the constant times each charge divided by the distance between them squared. And we said that to find our electric field created by this charge, we simply divide by this charge, and this charge would cancel, and we'll get our electric field is equal to K times this Q divided by R squared. So in other words, this guy, this charge, has nothing to do with the electric field that this creates, with the magnitude or the direction of what this electric field is. Now, of course, to find the net electric field, I have to calculate the electric field produced by this guy and by this guy, sum them up, and that's my net electric field. Now, I want to examine the following uh, idea. Notice that if we get closer, or as we get closer to our point charge in the middle, the charge is creating our electric field, these lengths, the arch lengths, get smaller. In other words, this guy is much longer than this guy. So what is the significance of that? Well, let's look at Coulomb's law. What does Coulomb's law tell us as we move our charge away from our point charge? As we move this guy away, the distance, this, uh, this R, gets larger. This distance get lar uh, gets larger. And that means that our denominator gets larger, right? R squared. And that means if, <coughs> if our denominator gets larger, our entire fraction gets smaller. And so our force gets smaller. And in fact, as this gets infinitely large, this approaches zero, the force. And I said in another lecture that if you move this charge, say, to the edge of the universe, we can assume that's a distance of infinity. And so the force that this guy would feel at the edge of our universe can be approximated to zero. Now, my question is, when we start moving back our charge, what happens? Well, if we decrease the space or decrease the distance between this charge and this charge, this gets smaller, making our denominator smaller, so this guy approaches zero, so th <coughs> this guy gets very, very large. So, notice also that as these lines point outward, as we, as we move further away from this main charge, this point charge, these arches get longer and longer. Now what I'm trying to say is the following. As the distance between these field lines, these arches, get smaller, that means the distance R from our charge to this charge gets smaller, and that means that our force gets larger. In other words, as we go from this guy, from this distance, to this distance, suppose I move my point charge to this distance, my r, my distance between this charge and this charge becomes smaller. This arch becomes smaller, and our denominator becomes smaller means that our force becomes larger. And so what the point is, is the following. The closer the field lines are, the stronger the electric field. In other words, the more concentrated our field lines are, the closer they are together, the stronger our field. And that's because of Coulomb's law. Coulomb's law states that if our distance gets smaller, our force gets larger and our arches get smaller. And that's exactly what happens as I move this charge closer to my, um, to my main charge. The force that this charge experiences as I move this guy closer 
is increased. And that's because our distance between our arches is also decreased. 